beautiful sunny day on the Murray River and I thought it was only appropriate to make a Japanese inspired salad. It's light, it's crunchy with the nashi pear and I'm going to be using some chicken. So I've got a chicken breast here and I've just diced it, it's really lean and I'm going to marinate it in some miso. Now if you don't know what miso is, it's just a fermented soybean. There are different types of miso out on the market, some really rich ones and some lighter ones. For this salad, because I want it really light and fresh, I go with the lighter version and I've just diluted it in a little bit of water. Also, I add some sesame seeds. So I've got white sesame seeds and black sesame seeds. And I'm just going to reserve a few of the black sesame seeds just for the garnish at the end. And this is almost going to give our chicken a crust. So I'm just going to marinate that for just a few moments while we get the rest of the ingredients ready. So for the dressing, I have dashi powder here. Dashi powder is it's like a Japanese stock. So that goes into a bowl with some vinegar, red wine vinegar. I'm going to mix that up just with our whisk. And you'll see that starts to just dilute a little bit. 100 millilitres of soy sauce. This is for the saltiness of it. I'm going to measure that out and that can go straight in there. And I'll give that a really quick whisk. Perfect. And now just a little bit of olive oil to make it into a really nice vinaigrette. And that's it, how easy is that? We can put that to the side now. And we'll get on with our chicken. We'll start cooking the chicken. You can see that these are in bite-sized cubes, so they take no time at all to cook. And I'll add just a splash of olive oil to my pan here. You can see how easy this recipe is. It's just putting it together. And then in it goes, all together. And separate each individual bite-sized piece here. And because it's just really lean chicken breast, this is only going to take moments to cook. All right, we'll let that do its thing and we'll get on with our vegetables for the salad. You could use whatever you like, but I love the crunch of snow peas here. I want this to be quite a chunky salad, so I'm just going to cut them in half. And really, I want to be done with this salad by the time that chicken is ready. Great, that'll do for this. Also some cucumber for the freshness. And I like to take the seeds out of the cucumber. I find it to be a little bit watery. And we're going to cut this cucumber into the same size as our chicken. And just cut them. Gosh, I love the smell of cucumber. So fresh, so crunchy. And speaking of crunchy, I love this. This is nashi pear. So much flavour. You know what? Because it's so crunchy and it's not as sweet as the classic pear, it really works well in salads. I'm just taking the two cheeks off and again, leaving the skin on. I've given it a really good wash. Right. Last veggie, a little bit of avocado. A nice, ripe avocado. And I'm just going to use a spoon here just to take out big wedges of yummy avocado. And while I'm doing that, we'll just check our chicken. Let's toss that. Oh, that looks good and it smells so good. And I can see it just needs a little bit longer. Dressing's ready. We need to just wait for that chicken just to completely cook. This chicken is cooked, I've just turned it off. I'm going to just place it in this salad, mix it through. We're going to add our dressing, that beautiful dressing. A bright blue bowl is only appropriate for this. And I'm just gonna pour it in. How good do those colors look? And I like to finish off with a special touch, a bit of mayonnaise over the top like that. So if they don't blow away a few of these sesame seeds, and there you have it, a Japanese-inspired salad, perfect for a nice, windy summer's day. <laughs>